All right, defenders, guardians, attention. Go again. Student sentence and begin. Honor, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self control, courage, community. Not the eight. To me. All right. Good to see everybody on today. Big class, and I love it. I love it. There is two, four, six, eight, nine of you. So that is awesome. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's go ahead and start off today with uh, high knees. All right, we're going to start off today warm ups with high knees. We're going to do it for I stepped on something sticky. Now my sock is sticking to the floor, and I don't like it. Uh, we're going to do high knees for 45 seconds to make sure knees above belt level or waist level if you don't have your belt on. And going it fast. Ready and go. All right, good, keep it going, keep it going. 15 seconds, almost, ooh, excuse me, almost done. Ooh. Good, five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. All right, from here, squats, 45 seconds, go. Excellent. Keep it going. 10 seconds. My screen goes like dark mode, so I can't see how much time we got left. Once I tap it. And time. All right. From here, mountain climbers. Everyone down on the ground. One knee into your chest, one foot out. Alternating. 45 seconds. Begin. Fifteen seconds. Leslie, we're not doing bicycles. What are you doing? And time. All right. And now push-ups. While we're down there, we're gonna go ahead and do some push-ups. Get our upper body strength going. Forty-five seconds. Go. And time. All right, from here, let's go ahead. Arm circles forward. Backwards. Now we're going to reach over our head.
All right, now we're going to reach down to our toes. Opposite side. You do not want to get dizzy. Keep looking at your feet the whole time. All right, and let's go hip side to side. Dylan, your belt is coming all kinds of crazy. Let's go forwards and backwards. Hip circles. Other way. All right, hands right back, ear to shoulder. Up and down. Left to right. Head circles. Other way. All right, and touch stance. Balcony. Jumbi stance. All right, so from here, we're going to jump back into the form today, all right, and work on it. For those of you that have not seen it, uh, this might be a little fast for you um, for the first couple moves. Uh, we only made it through moves four roughly last week for most of you. Some of you, we've gone further, um, but we're going to finish the beginning section now, all right, today, and kind of possibly jump into the uh, intermediate section, okay? So... Real quick, everyone as at regular Jumbi. Okay, Jumbi for Chung Mu. That is the name of the form of the cycle, is Chung Mu. Okay. That is regular Jumbi. We're going to take our right hand opened up, left hand on top, opened up. Back stance to the left. Open hand square block. So we've done a square block, now we're gonna do open hand. We're going to take our left hand to reach out, so right hand goes to our ear. Three moves at once. We're going to do a high block with our left hand, step forward into a front stance, inverted knife hand with our right. Hands go out in front of us, all the way around, right back stance, double knife hand towards this direction. Right hand goes out and makes a fist. Left hand's on our belt. Open handed, we're gonna step forward into a front stance and spear, one handed. Uh, there you go, Trent, yep, good, good, good. Nice, 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 excellent. Other hand, Wesley. There you go, very good. What, when did I ever say we were bouncing in the form, Mr. Wesley? All right, cool, just making sure. All right, so from here, now, both hands are going to go over our right shoulder towards the back behind us. We're going to go back towards the front, left back stance, double knife hand. We're going to then transition towards behind us, side kick, land back towards the front, double knife hand. So we don't really move, minus that side kick. Biggest thing is, you need to have balance with that side kick to be able to stop yourself holding it and then land. Okay. That's what a lot of this form is going to be, is a lot of body transitions, body control. Okay, Especially as we get into that uh, intermediate section, some body control is going to be there. Okay, um, When we get into the advanced section, Body control is going to be a huge thing, all right? So, 
Let's do that again. That is the end of the whole beginner section. And that is all of the beginner section, seven moves. Okay. Let's do it again together. Do me. One, two, three, four, five, six, holding it, hold it. Hands go out, have good balance. Seven. There we go, there you go. I lost somebody. I lost Connor, yeah, I lost Connor. There he is, okay. All right, let's do it again. This time we're gonna do every count, two moves. Okay, every count is two moves. Here we go. One, we end at the high block, inverted knife hand, right foot's in front, front stance. Two, three, and length. Very good. Now make sure the hand that's here on your chest is actually on your chest, okay? Like you're holding a plate of food or a platter or something. Or what I like to always say with this one is this hand that's out is saying stop. Or this one's like, no, come on, go ahead, bring it on. Let's do this. Especially since I've been recently starting to actually watch Cobra Kai. I don't know if any of y'all have seen that on Netflix. I don't know if any. Most of y'all should be kind of old enough. Some of y'all might not. But now I'm like, all right, yeah, we're going to do this. And we're going to step forward and spear right into it. No. All right. Back at me good. All right. So here we go. Let's do it again. One move or one count, two moves. One. Two. Three. Length. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to, well, um, that is the whole beginner section. Before we move on to, to getting into the intermediate, I want to make sure everyone's got the beginner, beginner section pretty well down. So we're going to focus. I'm going to let you do the beginner section on your own. We'll go through everybody, watch them, see how they're doing, and then we'll move on to the intermediate section once everyone's good. All right, any questions? No questions? All right, go ahead and begin. I won't tell you when I'm watching you, so you just gotta do it as if I'm watching you all the whole time. Wesley, step forward with that. Right leg steps forward. There you go. Yep, that's correct. Open hand, double knife hand. Don't forget that double knife hand, Wesley before the spear. There you go, good, good, good. Very good. Good, Miss Leach, make sure you land your feet and that double knife hand together. Everything starts and lands together, even that move. Other than that, very good. I like your stances. Switch hands, Aiden. There you go. Yes. Oh, you forgot the spear, Aiden. Forgot to throw that spear in. 
So double knife hand here. Or we can re reset, yep, so open hand square block. Good, step forward, high block inverted knife hand. Very good. So this side, double knife hand. Step forward, spear. There you go. Now back towards me, double knife hand, side kick, land it all together. There you go, very good job, buddy. Keep going, everybody. I'm getting to you. I ain't telling you when I'm watching you. Just think, just imagine as if I'm watching you right now, even if I'm not. Very good balance, Trenton. Very good, very good. I like your chambers too. Full, fully chambering, which is good, which is great. Ezra, you all right? Dylan, you good? Turn the other way, Ezra. Turn the other way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ezra, 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 go back to B. All right, open hands for a block. Good, step forward, high block inverted knife hand. Good, now you're gonna pick your right foot up and spin around towards me, looking at me. Other direction, other direction. There you go, yes. And then you step forward spear. Very good. Nice. Ezra, will I help you with your balance on the side kick? Look where you're kicking. All right, and pivot. Okay, look where you're kicking and pivot. All right, those two things will help you keep your balance. Okay. If you kick blindly, you're going to land blindly. Very good, Miss August. Good, Dylan. I want you to extend that psychic all the way. Come on, Connor. You're almost there. You're at that spear, right? Do it again, all the way to the end. That spear, good, back towards me, double knife hand, good, side kick to the back, and land double knife hand. Very good, excellent. All right, crew, and Lynette, I cannot see you, your video is off. So I don't know, I, I hope you're doing good. All right, so, um, one thing to keep note of, okay, when you're doing the second move where you do the high block inverted knife hand, okay, make sure when you are here and you extend out, do not draw a circle, all right, like I actually, like I used to do, okay. When you're here, you're actually going to come up in front of you, okay, so that way you're actually blocking a move, okay, you're, you are blocking a move. If you're here and you draw a circle, you're not really blocking a move, you're just kind of swinging your arm. All right, so it is a high block, it is a block. You are moving to block. So make sure that you come up in front of you. All right, not to say everybody was doing it, not to say anybody was doing it. All right, I just know that's been, that is one most common error, like I said, I even did. And I, when I say I even did, I've done it for five years. All right, so 
it's okay to have to do that because to an extent because everyone does it but you want to try to get yourself out of that habit habit and just draw a straight line all right um let me see what else was there uh balance balance is going to be key with this form for sure okay balance is going to be very important especially here when you do the side kick balance land okay everything lands together all right a lot of times especially with this form it's really hard to do so but your goal is to land everything together all right instead of landing your feet then your hands come up okay or hands then you land all right you want to try landing everything at the same time all right and with that also making sure you fully extend your side kick all right one thing i know uh mr jackson loves to do is when you're here and you do that kick kicks holds it brings it back in then lands all right so once you get the balancing down then you'll be able to start add that in too okay you'll be able to add that pause uh, moment okay which will create emphasis on the Okay, so we ready for the beginning of section two? A lot of thumbs up, cool. All right, here we go, Judy. Everyone go ahead and go through the beginning section on their own. Okay, everyone's here. Now, from here, right leg steps forward, left leg steps forward and kind of pivots, and turns. We're going to jump side kick with our right foot, landing our right foot in front, double knife hand. Okay, now I know we did that kind of slowly, all right? So when you're here, step with your right, step with your left pivoted, and then side kick, land it in a double knife hand, okay? But when you do it, you want to actually do it. It is a run jump side kick. Difference between a run jump and a flying side kick. I did not know this until like a week ago. Flying side kick, you're trying to go through like you're going through a board. So your body's going horizontally. You're going that direction. Okay, you're going forward. When you're going, when you're doing a run jump side kick, you're actually not trying to go forward. You're trying to go upward. So you've got to be able to manipulate your body, have that body control. Where when you're here, instead of continuing that forward motion, you transition your body into an upward motion. Okay? Just like so. And then that'll help with landing one foot. Okay? Because the goal is to eventually land one foot. That way, again, you can chamber your hands and then land with your right foot in front double knife hand, everything together. Okay, that is the goal. All right, so let's do it again. Do me. Pause for a second. What? Um, pause, because you're frozen. Am I frozen to everybody else? No? No, Connor, it might be in something on your iPad. Okay, your internet. Am I still frozen? I'm moving around right now. Okay, I'm looking weird on the recording, all right? So am I moving or not? Okay, I think it's something on you, buddy. So we're going to go ahead. Who from Illinois is calling me? I don't want to talk to them. Y'all know anybody from Illinois? Because I don't. They might be calling y'all. All right, anyway. So, do me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, step, step, jump, kick, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it up there. Hands go over your left shoulder. Land, back stands, double iron. 
Good. Miss Leach did not have enough run jumps yesterday, so we're doing them today. All right, because I still got that list too. Miss Leach, you want to do that again today? I got that list. I got that paper. Where is it at? Where I'm okay, it? sir. You don't want to do it? No, no, I'm good. All right. All right, all right. I'm just kidding. All right, so here we go. Give me one, two, three, four. Okay, I rejoined. All right, cool. Five, six, seven, eight. Hold it over the shoulder. Y'all seen, seen any good movies lately? We redo that kick. And nine. All right, so Connor, to do that kick, okay, your left foot's in front. All right, I'm doing it to the sides, that way you can see me instead of me going far, far away. All right, your left foot's in front. Toward, you're gonna go towards me, you're gonna go towards the front. You're gonna step with your right foot, step with your left foot, pivot, Jump side kick. All right, so here we go. Now, everybody kind of got a good grasp on that? Yep, all right, so now we're going to do that same thing, I'm gonna count, and you're gonna do two moves. Okay, so do me. One. Two. Three, four, and land. Connor, did I freeze up again when I was explaining that run jump kick? Or did you get it? Connor, are you there? Can you hear me? John, Eric, can you hear me? I can see you. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Oh, okay. Did, did you get the uh, the kick that uh, you needed up with, or did I freeze up again? You didn't tell me. Oh, yeah, I did it. Yeah, I just froze. So your left foot's in front. Oh, my God. So your left my foot's in front. on the floor. <laughs> You're going to step with your right foot, and then step pivot with your left foot, Jump side kick with your right foot. Okay, so two step. Read it again. Two step side kick. So left foot's in front. One, two, side kick, length. Step foot forward. Okay. Everybody go ahead and start practicing that on your own. That is going into the intermediate section. Okay. Does anybody else, does anybody want to go through the whole intermediate section, just like briefly? I did the last class with lawyers, there was one kid that wanted to do it. <laughs> Ezra was like, no, don't do that, don't do that. Okay. Wes was like, nah, I'm good. All right, okay. Maybe I'll show you here towards the end, how about that? Just to kind of get you an idea of what, what you're coming up with. Okay, there's a reason why I'm stopping at certain areas. All right, so there's a reason why we're stopping here. The reason why we stop. I still don't know how to do the kick. Do what? I still don't know how to do the kick. It's a two step jump side kick. So your left foot's in front. Step oh, right. Fine. Step left. Right. Side kick with your right. Lay it in front. One, two, side. Yes. Correct. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it here. If you get lost or stuck, I might be where you are stuck at. All right. And I know right now it may seem like it's easy, okay? And there's like 
You're like, you've got this, I got it down. But trust me, with this form, it is good to break the moves down by two or three, four moves at a time, okay? With this form, it is crucial to do so. All right, it's crucial, especially virtually, all right? So although it may seem kind of easy at the moment, if it does, trust me, it will get harder. Really about to there is about the, where it ends with the easiness. Everything else starts the fun part. All right, so I will go ahead for anybody that wants to watch what the intermediate form section is going to be. You can take a second, come up to the camera, watch me. If you want to keep working on what you already, what we've worked on, keep doing that. Okay, you have the option. This is just for educational purposes. After this, we're going to move on to other things. Okay. Right now, are we supposed to know anything after the jump side? Uh, just a land double knife hand. After when you land it, you land on the knife hand. Yep, and another double knife hand, yes. Yep, and that's it. Wait, so, so you do the knife hand and then you step forward and do another one? Yeah, so you're here. One, two, kick, land, double knife hand, and that's it. Okay. So the difference is before the kick, your left foot's in the front. Oh my god. Kick, your right foot's in the front. So you got your hand. But from here, here's your form. The intermediate section. I might do the advanced section too. We all know this part. This is the advanced part. So the C block is where the intermediates would end. This is the advanced. And that's the whole point. So as you probably saw, as hopefully with virtually, that was kind of hard seeing it in two-dimensional. But there's a lot of movement, a lot of I'm going this direction, and now all of a sudden I'm going this direction. Okay? So, um, but the intermediate will end here. All right, you'll end here, and then the advance goes into that jump. 360 keeps going here. Trust me, this one won't get you dizzy. <laughs> all right, so any questions? No? All righty. We're approaching time almost. So let's go ahead and jump into, let's say the definition. All right. I saved it for the last to this time. So let's go into the definition and then we'll go into announcements and then we'll be done for the night. All right. So definition for Chung Mu. All right. Chung Mu was the name given to the great Admiral Yi Sun Shin. Yeah, he had a weird name. Of the Li Dynasty. He was reputed to have invented the first armored battleship, Kabuxin, in 1592, which is said to be the precursor of the present day submarine. The reason why this pattern ends with a left hand attack is to symbolize his regrettable death, having no chance to show his unrestrained potentiality check, 
by the forced reservation of his loyalty to the king. All right, so that is the definition. The longest definition of our forms, but not the longest moves of our forms. The longest form is actually third degree. So, you, so for most of us, most of you, you have some time. Me and Miss Leach, it's like knocking right behind on the back door. I still got like two years now, but Miss Leach is almost there. So, level four is that? Yeah. So you got one more level, and then you got third degree. So you got what? Three, four months. A little less than a year, probably. Well, like five cycles, because I have an extra cycle I have to wait. Because uh, I got grandfathered up, and that I still have to wait two years, so I had two extra cycles, and I used one of them already. Uh, so I have an extra cycle I have to, I don't know. I might just take three cycles to test before my third degree. We'll see. Okay. Is it age restriction? Is that what's getting you? No, it's because I was... When we switched out of the ULMA, yeah. they followed me up a level, which would make it not take two years, but I still have to wait two years before I can test. Okay. So, like, the way it works is when, because back in the ULMA, there was, their second degree only went up to four levels. So that's why everyone got bumped up that level, is because we went to five levels. Yeah. But yeah. if I do it the normal way, it won't be two years. Okay. So I have to wait two cycles so it'll be because that i still have to t wait the two years to get my third degree it's just okay split up differently i don't know okay i hey I, I support it because that's the reason why honestly i waited a year before i started testing for my second degree because i i would have been a first degree in like two and some change years and i was like nah it takes about three years to get a first degree so i waited that extra year then started testing over my second degree so that way I had the right time. So I get it. I get it completely. Um, all right. Announcements, 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 announcements. This Saturday is class in the grass and picnic. If you want to do a class in the grass, you do not have to wear a uniform, wear some comfy clothing, shorts, t-shirt, you know, weather permitted. If it's going to rain, obviously you're going to want to wear some maybe like uh, sweatpants or something. Um, if it's going to be super hot, then don't wear sweatpants, right? Um, but Class in the grass, uh, we'll have a little bit of everything. So if you've also considered possibly trying like jujitsu out or, you know, some other class, um, Hamado, things of that nature, um, then you are welcome to come do that. And it'll teach you a little bit of those. It'll have a little bit of everything so you'll get a taste for all. Okay. Um, with that, we'll also have a picnic. So everyone brings their own picnic. So own food and own drinks. Um, but we'll be spaced out enough to where you can take your mask off and be comfortable and, you know, eat, but also close enough to where you can socialize with everybody because this is a social event. Okay, this is all for everyone to hang out and get to chillax. Um, after that, next Saturday, the 19th, is Nerf Wars Parents Night Out at the New Albany location. All right, everyone's welcome, whether you're Clarksville, New Albany, if you live in Louisville, all right, and I say that because, because you know, you are considered still a Clarksville student, but even if you live in Louisville, all right, we want you to be a part of, you are part of the family, okay, so we want you to do family things, all right. So one thing I actually love, though, about the virtual classes is majority of all of you, almost, is Louisville kids, so it's great to be able to still see y'all, regardless of whatever, of everything, I get to see you get to talk with you, get to hang out with you, you still get to teach with you, train with you, and stuff like that, all right, because here's the thing, is even when I'm teaching, I'm training, right, and that's one thing, if I go back, uh, when we were talking about the instructor program in the beginning, you know, even as an instructor, you're still training, because you're still becoming a better instructor, being a better instructor, I mean, you have to be a better student, you got to look for those details, so, um, but anywho, moving forward, um, Parasite Outs, Nerf Wars, New Albany, Saturday, September 19th, if you want, you are also welcome to come and help us, all right? So that entails that you get to participate with the kids a little, um, as well, but also watching and making sure everyone stays safe, you know, helping us set up, things of that nature. Um, you know, somebody, you know, say, for example, somebody may need to go to the bathroom, you know, may just need somebody to escort them just to make sure that they get there and back safely and then nothing goes on, you know, nothing goes crazy in between there. Um, so just stuff like that, and nothing too complicated. You're not gonna be doing cartwheels and climbing up the roof and stuff. Uh, but other than that, any questions? Any questions, any questions, any questions? 
Connor, you got a question? Yeah. Um, is purple belt intermediate? Yes, purple belt is intermediate. Senior purple is when you go advanced. Yeah. Also, I'm supposed to get the purple belt, but I haven't got it yet. Supposed to get what? Can I say that again? Purple belt, but I haven't got it yet. Okay. We are, I believe, um, I believe we just mailed all everybody's, like, the last batch yesterday, I think. Um, so if you haven't received your belt certificate yet, um, give it a couple days, maybe give it till Monday. You should have it at the latest Monday. If you don't have your new belts um, and stuff by Monday, then give us a call and make sure, well, you know, we'll figure it out from there. Okay, but I do know that we, there was still some that we sent out yesterday, I believe. I'm assuming that's what it was that we sent. I can only assume what it was. Um, and the other thing was we were waiting for cycle shirts for a lot of people. So if you ordered a cycle shirt, that was another thing. We were waiting for that to come in. So, um, so yeah, if you don't receive it by, I'd say Monday at the latest, um, then, uh, uh, you know, we'll definitely start looking into that then. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other questions? Dylan, your hand was up. The Saturday class in the grass, that's the only class, right? There's no other like regular ones in the studio. It's all the park one. Correct. Yes. The only class that we're having in, in the academy on Saturday is kickboxing. Um, okay. Just because, honestly, I don't, I was never given a reason, but I can imagine that it would just be easier for kickboxing to be still done in the facility um, compared to doing it in 90 degree weather um, ish. Um, I mean, for me, I'd be like, let's do it. We're going to go on a five mile run, but you know, that's just me, I guess. I'm just crazy. But, um, but yeah, so kickboxing is the only uh, class that will be in Saturdays. Uh, on Saturday, all the others will be. So, if you want to do it as well, um, mom, dad, if y'all can hear me, if not, tell them. I uh, should have got an email with, I believe there was a registration link to there to register for it. Um, if you did not, uh, you can let me know now or just call us at the academy and uh, we'll get the names added on as well. Just kind of, there's no cost to it or anything. Just kind of get an idea of who's all going to be there. So that way, you know, plan accordingly. But anything else? All righty. Well, have a wonderful rest of your night. Have a great weekend if I don't see you till Monday. And I will see everybody later. Bye.